this is the way that Elizabeth spoke out with a loud voice when he declared, blessed are you among women when he spoke to, to Mary. And this is how they participated. And also Anna, as you have learned in, in your class today. The second one, Jesus valued women. Remember the widow at Nain when Jesus saw when Jesus saw the, the widow, he had compassion on her. Naawa po siya. And I want to read a statement. He who gave back to the widow her only son, as he was carrying the dead to the burial, who wept tears of sympathy at the grave of Lazarus and gave back the brother to, Mar to Martha and Mary, he who pardoned Mary Magdalene, he who remembered his mother when he was hanging in agony. He who appeared to the weeping women and made them his first messengers to the glad tidings of a risen Savior. Today, Jesus is a woman's best friend. Let us be comforted that even though in his time, women were so insignificant today, and even in his time, until today, he is women's best friend, how he took notice, how he responded to their longings, to their yearnings, spiritual yearnings. And also, they serve Jesus. Women serve Jesus. And they were example of gratitude. Women took part in Jesus' birth. Second, they, Jesus valued them. Third, they served Jesus in his ministry. They were, they were noticed by Jesus. And the last, they were examples of gratitude. They were examples of faith, of being prayerful. They were examples of generosity. The one who dropped the two mites. And from the daughters of God, here is one quotation that I, I, I found. The Lord has a work for women as well as for men. They may take their places in his work at this crisis, and he will work through them if they are imbued with a sense of their duty and labor under the influence of the Holy Spirit. They will, just, they will have just the self-possession required for this time. The Savior will reflect upon these self-sacrificing women the light of his countenance, and will give them a power that exceeds that of men. They can do in families a work that men cannot do, a work that reaches the inner life. They can come close to the hearts of those whom men cannot reach. Their labor is needed. Last, women of firm principle and decided character are needed. Women who believe that we are indeed living in the last days and that we have the last solemn message of warning to be given to the world. I would like to repeat that. And I want you to read carefully. Today, women of firm principle and decided character are needed. Women who believe that we are indeed living in the last days and we have the last solemn warning message to be given to the world. I hope that we women will respond to the call of this last of this end time, that God is waiting for us just as he looked for women in his time to respond to the calling of service and loving ministry to those whom men cannot reach. So thank you so much.